Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Eco Electric Tankless Water Heater. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on it, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents. Just kind of based off my experience with it and let you know what I thought about it. Um, I should mention real quick too, I actually found a pretty good deal on this water heater. And I'll put a link in the description below to that deal so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So my water heater had gone out and I was looking for a new one and... I'd always wanted a tankless one, but they were always much more expensive, uh, $800 to $1,000 easy. Uh, and I noticed that the prices on these things have dropped a ton in the last like two or three years. Um, so I started thinking to myself, well, maybe it's worth checking out these tankless systems. And in short, after doing quite a bit of research for weeks, asking around on different forums, Reddit, things like that, uh, these are, this is definitely the way to go. If you want to, if you want to get a new water heater, definitely go tankless. There's absolutely no reason to get a tank water heater anymore. Um, anyway, long story short, a lot of people were really recommending these EcoTouch tankless water heaters. They said that they're really good quality and they're really good value for the money. And, um, I guess I would completely, if you want the short version, I would completely agree with that statement. I think this is the best bang for your buck tankless water heater out there right now. Um, it works really well. It's easy to use. It's easy to set up and it's very easy to install too. And it just works. It's not the most complicated system in the world. It's basically just heats water. Um, but the nice thing about it, if you're considering one of these, is it's much more energy efficient. I mean, if you think about it, you have to have this huge gal uh, 30 to 50 gallon tank of water that's constantly heated. It's constantly cooling. It, you know, uh, it has to be constantly heated up with gas or electricity all the time uh, in case you want to use hot water. And it's just, it's extremely inefficient. Uh, this just heats it as it goes through the unit itself. And it's much more energy efficient. You'll never run out of hot water too, which is another nice thing too. But for right around $100, this is an unbelievable value in uh, in a tankless water heater. All the parts on the inside are stainless steel or copper, basically non-corrosive materials, so it'll never corrode on you. It's very well made, very durable, good circuitry, uh, good over-voltage protection on it. Um, it does plug into a two, uh, 220 or a 240 volt, same thing. Um, so you will need to have that available. Uh, if you don't have one, you can have an electrician run one in your garage or basement, wherever you have, uh, very cheaply. Um, but yeah, this is a serious uh, water heater. It will get endless hot water to 116 degrees, um, which is very hot, very, very hot. I keep my hot tub at about 104 degrees, and it's almost unbearably hot when I get in. 116 is almost scalding, so you, you wouldn't even want to really even set it that high. But uh, it has a nice digital readout on the front uh, with a temperature control up and down. keeps it to the exact degree. Works great. Um, Half-inch pipe fittings. Um, yeah, and you can get adapters for those too if you're running smaller than that, so don't worry about that either. But yeah, if you uh, have any more questions on it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.